our next guest is a talented actress who was handpicked by Olivia Pope herself to play high-powered defense attorney Jack Stewart in the new legal drama Reasonable Doubt. Watch new episodes Tuesdays on Hulu. Please welcome Emma Yatsi Coronaldi. <laughs> I pronounced your name correctly. You pronounced good. my name perfectly. Good, good, Thank good, you. good. I've been practicing. <laughs> Are there, uh, do you know of any other Emma Yahtzees? Well, I've been told I now have a cousin in Panama named Emma Yahtzee. She wow. named her her daughter after Oh, me. that's yes. that's nice. Yes. It's a good name. So how, where did they come up with this name, your parents? Well, it's my, my dad is from Panama. My okay. mom is from Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio. And there's this story of this princess in Panama named Yemati, and that's what he wanted to name me. But my mom didn't like that. So oh. he took her mother's name, my grandmother, Emma, and Yamati and made Emma Yatsi. But, so he wasn't yes. like in the middle of rolling uh, with no. a cup and some dice he and he's like, not. I know what it'll he be. He was no. not, no. Yeah. <laughs> and did the people at Starbucks have a hard time? Oh, gosh. You know, Starbucks, any establishment like that where I have to say my name, it's like, do I want to go with them and have them, you know, try to figure out how to say my name? Yeah. Or just keep it simple. Just E or M. Let's just go with it. That's where it really pays to become famous because <laughs> Emma Yahtzee, now people know you don't have to explain it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So, um, okay. Now, this show of yours, Kerry Washington, as I mentioned, is the executive producer yes. of the show, one of the executive producers, and uh, directed you in mm -hmm. this show, which is exciting. Yes. It's your, like, big break. It's based on a uh, real lawyer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a woman who was on the OJ Dream Team. Yes! I was like, well, where do I remember that name? Sean Holly, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. She was on the OJ Dream Team, which I don't know. I don't know that I would keep that on my resume, but <laughs> I guess they, I guess they won. <laughs> if you're Sean Holly, you will. You She's keep bad. that on. She's yeah. Bad. Yeah. She's tough. You met her and all that oh, stuff. Oh yes. Oh yes. Uh -huh. She is a wonderful woman, confident. You know, she is powerful. She is a boss. You know, and and that's who the show is based on. So you said you lived in Ohio, or you lived in? Uh, I have lived Panama. in Ohio. Uh -huh. my, my father, he was in the army, so I've lived all over the place. I mean, was born in Kentucky, lived in Germany, Ohio, Kansas. Oh, really? All oh. over the. When map, did you yes. come to Los Angeles? I've been here now. It'll be twenty years, which is crazy oh. to think I've done anything that long, but. Yeah, it's been 20 years. And when you came out, did you have a job acting that you came out for, or did you come out to get a job? I did not have a job. Mm -hmm. I came out with the dream and the desire to, to be an actress. You know, I packed up my 95 Nissan Sentra and drove out in June with no AC, um, you know, against the, the wishes of my parents. I mean, they were supportive, but they were like, please, can we go with you? I'm like, no, Mom, we got to do it on my own. Um, did you go with anybody? I did not. Oh. I did not. I went wow. by myself. You just headed out there. I headed out. Um, did you know anybody here? Well, the job where I was working at, this company called Disc Makers, actually. I don't even know if they're still in existence. But whenever someone was leaving the company, they would send an email saying, hey, I'm moving to Montana, what have you. And so I did that about coming here. And um, someone who was already living here, he, was, he had been here for about three months, and I said, hey, I'm going to be moving to L.A. Any advice? He says, I have none. I'm still trying to figure it out myself, but you're welcome to stay with me. I said, great, stranger. And so... Oh, you never <laughs> met the guy? I did not know him at all. And so when I came here, I got off the exit, got off on, on, uh, in, in Burbank, and... You'd never seen each other never before. Never seen each other before. Wow. And that's when the fear set in. What am I doing? My parents are going to kill me. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so I went and knocked on the door, and he opens the door, and Oh, he, he must have been died. so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was wondering if there was a God. And no. yes. I mean, he, he opens this door, and he's this big, tatted guy, spiky, biker-looking guy. Oh, really? And wow. I'm like, oh, my God. What is that? <laughs> So Guy Fieri answers the door. Yes, yes, he looked just like Guy Fieri. <laughs> a total sweetheart. We are still friends until oh, today. Yes, oh, we are. Oh, that's nice. Yes, we are. Wow. Yeah. And then, what was your um, what was your first acting job? Um, my first job, well, the one that meant the most to me, um, um, it was Young and the Restless. Oh, the yeah. soap opera. The soap opera, oh, yeah. yes. The Young and the... Oh, why? Because that was a show you watched? Well, it was a show my mother watched. Oh, my mother okay. was in love with Victor Newman. I mean, who's not in love with Victor Newman, right? 
Um, and so she'd always wanted me to be on that show. She always, you know, wanted really? me to be an actress. And she said, I need you to be on Young and the Restless. How'd you get on um, Young and the Restless? Were you more, did you feel more young or restless? <laughs> A little bit of both. <laughs> um, I kind of, um, what word do I want to use? I finagled my way onto Young and the Restless. How did you do that? By pretending to be a manager, because I didn't have one yet. Oh, you pretended yeah. to be your own manager. I did, I did. That's clever. I, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Wow, so you would what, call and say, I've got a I young did. woman here that you're going to love. Exactly. She's restless, she's ready to go. <laughs> wow. I would, I would change up my voice, you know, whatever needed to be <laughs> really? done. When there was a, a role that was really good, that I felt that I needed to be in the room for. And What was your manager name? Um... Tracy Devine, which sounds like a stripper <laughs> now that I think about no, it. No, Tracy Devine sounds like a manager. It <laughs> really it? does, yeah. <laughs> Tracy Devine calling. Tracy Devine. And somebody picks up the phone and you say what? And I say, you know, I have this, well, I would change my voice. Hi, this is Tracy Devine. This is Tracy Devine calling from Tracy Devine Agency. I have this fantastic actress that you need to meet. And I would go on into my little spiel, you know, and that's how it would happen. And that's how I got the audition for you. Is that person. right? Yes. And then yeah. they call Tracy and go, we love her. <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't remember. I might have blocked it out of my mind. I, I don't know. Did you know, pay but... Tracy 15% commission? Tracy did get paid. She did get a commission. commission. Yeah. She did. She did. And are you still with Tracy now, or have you, now that you're a star, with you. Tracy. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty She's good. She's always in my heart. It's very clever, and I guess it's acting, really. It's nothing, acting. Out here, nothing's lying. It's acting. That's it. That's, that's right. what I tell everyone. Well, congratulations on Thank the show. You so the much. show is called Reasonable Doubt. Yes. And you can see new episodes Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock on Hulu. Emma Yatsi Coronaldi, everybody. Oh, yes. Yes. I don't know if we've ever done this before. But you can also, in addition to Hulu, you can re-watch the first episode next Thursday night here on ABC with commercials, which is <laughs> the way God intended shows to be seen. Thank you. We'll be Thank right you. back with the heavy, heavy.